A tragic incident has unfolded in the UK involving a mother of five, Alice Webb, 34, who died shortly after undergoing a non-surgical Brazilian but lift, BBL, procedure. This has marked the first death linked to this treatment in the country. The procedure, believed to involve the injection of chemical fillers, was carried out at the Studio 23 clinic in Gloucester. The clinic is operated by Gemma Paulison and Jordan James Park, a well-known figure in the beauty world, often referred to as the British Lip King. Park, who has no formal surgical qualifications, has built a reputation as a self-proclaimed advocate for cosmetic surgery and procedures. Alice's sudden death on Monday came as a shock to her family and community. Her partner, Dane Knight, expressed grief and asked for sensitivity, particularly towards their five daughters, Delcy, 15, Preet, 13, Gracie, 12, Nylee, 10, and Clary, 7, who are all deeply affected by the loss of their mother. In a heartfelt post on Facebook, Dane thanked friends, family, and well-wishers for their support during this extremely difficult time. He specifically urged people not to speculate about the circumstances of Alice's death, particularly in front of the children, to protect them from additional emotional distress. Alice, an advanced aesthetic practitioner, had been working at Crystal Clear in Watton Under Edge, Gloucestershire. She had joined the beauty and aesthetics industry just two years prior and had quickly excelled in her role, earning the admiration of her colleagues and clients alike. Alice was known for her dedication to her work, always striving to improve her skills, and her genuine care for her clients' well-being. Her colleague and friend Abigail Irwin, who set up a GoFundMe page to support Alice's family, described her as a beautiful person inside and out who was committed to her family and clients. The GoFundMe initiative was launched to help alleviate the financial burden on her partner Dane and their children during this devastating period. The BBL treatment Alice underwent is designed to enhance the size, shape, or lift of the buttocks by injecting fat or dermal fillers. Although non-surgical BBLs are legal in the UK, concerns have been raised about their safety. Last year, Wolverhampton City Council prohibited a company from offering this procedure after identifying risks such as blood clots, sepsis, and necrosis, the death of body tissues. Despite these warnings, the procedure remains popular, particularly among those seeking to avoid more invasive surgical options. Jordan James Park, one of the co-owners of the Studio 23 clinic where Alice received her treatment, is a well-known figure in the beauty world. He gained notoriety for his obsession with cosmetic surgery, reportedly spending over £130,000 on various procedures to emulate the appearance of Kim Kardashian, a celebrity he admires. Park has appeared on reality TV, including the US show Botched, which features individuals seeking corrective surgeries for previous cosmetic procedures. In 2015, he appeared on the show, only to be turned away in 2019 after doctors informed him that a fourth nose job would require removing a piece of his rib to widen his nostrils. Park has had over 50 cosmetic procedures, including lip fillers, cheek enhancements, and more, which has contributed to his fame and controversial status in the industry. Park promotes himself on social media as the plastic surgery advocate but is not a licensed surgeon. In addition to running the Studio 23 clinic, he offers treatments in cities such as Manchester, Bristol, and the West Midlands. His clinic specializes in lip and cheek fillers, chemical peels, and other beauty treatments such as vampire facials, one of Kim Kardashian's well-known procedures. Following Alice's death, Gloucestershire police confirmed that they have made arrests and are conducting an investigation, though details remain scarce at this time. The authorities have been asked repeatedly for more information but have yet to provide further statements. The case has sparked renewed calls for tighter regulations in the UK's cosmetic industry. The campaign group Save Face, which advocates for safer practices in the beauty and aesthetics field, has long been warning of the dangers associated with non-surgical cosmetic procedures. The group has emphasized the need for stricter controls to prevent unqualified practitioners from performing potentially dangerous treatments. Their concerns are rooted in the fear that such incidents, if left unchecked, could result in more fatalities. Alice's death highlights the significant risks that can accompany cosmetic enhancements, even those marketed as non-invasive or non-surgical. In the wake of this tragedy, Alice's community has rallied around her grieving family. 
Messages of support and condolences have flooded social media, where friends and family have shared memories and tributes to Alice. A touching moment came when Alice posted a picture of a small pumpkin her daughter had given her just the night before her death. In her final Facebook post, Alice described the pumpkin as a present from her daughter and later shared an image of it carved with a candle inside, calling it my little lamp. This simple, heartwarming post has now taken on a poignant meaning for those who knew and loved her, as it encapsulates the love and closeness she shared with her children. The tragic loss of Alice Webb serves as a sobering reminder of the potential dangers of cosmetic procedures, particularly those performed outside of a regulated medical environment. While the appeal of enhancing one's appearance is understandable, this incident raises important questions about the safety of certain treatments and the qualifications of those administering them. Alice's family now faces the heartbreaking task of moving forward without her, supported by a community that has come together to help them through this time of unimaginable sorrow. As the investigation into her death continues, it remains to be seen whether this tragedy will lead to greater oversight and reform in the UK's beauty and aesthetics industry. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates on celebrity deaths and news updates.